Hello from Merit Poker Room once again. I'm George Theofanopoulos and I'm here with Lachesar Petkov, the winner of the High Roller event. Congratulations, Lachesar. Thank you very much. Cheers. Um, tell me, how was the tournament for you? I saw that you reached the final table with not a big stack. Was it uh, hard to reach the final table at first? Yeah, it was, a, it was a difficult tournament for me because I was short most of the time and it was difficult. I needed to stay, you know, calm, to, to wait for my, uh, to, to wait for, you know, me to have a chance to make something happen. And yeah, I took my time and uh, things worked out. Uh, at the final table, you won a couple of flips and then you managed to build a stack. Did the strategy change on that point when you were the chip leader? Uh, yeah, then I could uh, control the dynamic of the game and I could uh, control uh, the rhythm and uh, basically influence more uh, everything. And uh, yeah, things, things went my way, you know. Tell us a bit about a big pot. We saw you with the second chip leader when the final table was 600 already in the money. And uh, that's the, the second stack, Casper Pizarra, opened from merely to 53,000 on blinds, 12, 24, I think. Yeah. And you had 1.1 million, he had 800,000. He opened to 53, you 3 bet to 140 from the cutoff, and he shoved 800. Yeah. What happened there? What, what, sorry, what, what went through your mind? And what, why did you call with queens, actually? Well, I mean, he was like pretty frustrated that I called there with queens, but uh, I mean, it, it was somewhat of a, you know, easy call, more or less, you know. Because of the stack sizes, I would have had enough chips. I would have probably had more than two other players, if, even if I had lost the hand. So uh, I could have taken that chance and uh, you know become a massive uh, chip leader, and also the so they, we were six-handed. The big blind we were on break before that. The big blind was missing, so uh, he was probably going to be opening with uh, like a very uh, wide uh, range from early position to steal the blind, and he wouldn't have expected to get action from anybody. And once I three bet, I'm gonna be three betting there with like a lot of hands to steal because the big blind is missing. And uh, yeah, I mean then uh, basically he went for the went for the jam, which uh, which was uh, quite surprising to me. But I I was on the top of my range and I thought that he could be doing that with jacks, which he told me that he would never do. But who, who knows, you know? And uh, yeah, he ended up having ace king, and I won the flip. And that was a huge flip. Uh, Pizarra was eliminated on that hand. You left 500 and through that point you were the chip leader until the end. Tell us about yourself. Uh, how long do you play poker? Uh, I've been playing for, uh, for a long time, but, you know, just uh, recreationally. Uh, nothing too crazy, you know, just been enjoying. I, I just love the game, you know, just, just love the game. And uh, the crazy story is that you, both you and uh, Gitis uh, Bernadavich, who was, was, who was with you at the Heads Up, both of you won the seat of the High Roller through a satellite, the same satellite. Yeah, that's crazy, that's crazy. I mean, and we played Heads Up in the end, <laughs> you know, because uh, we both won like a $330 rebuy satellite. Um, I had just invested like six, 630, you know, just one rebuy from the get-go and I hadn't invested anything since because on the satellite I had a big chip stack, didn't need to invest. Uh, yeah, and we won that first satellite, that was the actual first satellite of the series and the lowest buy-in. We won it and then we play heads up here. So you played the 10K event uh, with a $660 investment. Yeah, exactly. And it turned out to win, to take, uh, you take back home 160K, I think. Yeah. That's yeah. great result. Just on the Congratulations. Do you plan to play more tournaments now that you have made a big score? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, I like to travel and I like to play live. It's, it's a lot of fun and it's a great atmosphere and it's a different experience uh, than playing online. Yeah. And uh, have you been in many poker rooms around the world? Uh, yeah, I've traveled, I've traveled quite a bit. I've played uh, many different places. Yeah. And how do you compare this place? How do you like it? Do you like it more than others? Will you come again? How do you like the service here? Yeah, I, I love it. It's a, it's a great place, a great atmosphere. Um, the biggest impression uh, made the dealers, for sure. I mean, they're by far much better than any other and good looking. But And also the team with the Chicago gangsters, that was pretty cool uh, altogether. But yeah, it was very impressive to see how good and helpful the staff were and you and everybody else. Um, how friendly and uh, accommodating 
And uh, I mean, it's really impressive how skillful the dealers are. I haven't seen uh, I haven't seen anywhere, and I've been to Vegas too, and like other places, and I haven't seen such good dealers anywhere. They're so good. Yeah, I'm amazed by that factor. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to play live poker with such dealers, because otherwise, you know, people sometimes you get frustrated when dealers make a lot of mistakes when you play like a tournament that's. Uh, that's like a turbo and so on and uh, basically the pace and the mistakes of the dealers influences the game a lot and uh, it, it was good to see such a, such a class from, uh, from this stuff here. It's, it's really impressive, yeah. Thank you very much for talking to us. Good luck to any tournament you might play in the future and I hope to see you again as a winner. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you, cheers. Thank you very much.